let's uh, take a look at some uh, file processing. And um, this is just kind of the introduction to files. We'll be working more with them as time goes on. Uh, there's files as a way to store store data. It's also many things on your computer are based upon uh, some kind of file system of some sort. And the book will go in more detail about this, so you can you can read that. Um, but I'm going to have a new project. And this will be an example. And I'm going to write out an HTML file. So an HTML writer. I'm not going to use anything fancy on this. I'm going to write my own. There's libraries that uh, will do some of the same some items I'm going to show you. And um, I'm going to have some, some options here. Um, I'm going to do a list box for color. And I'll put a label right beside it that says color. And that's probably good enough for now. Um, and I think you get the idea. And then we'll have a button to generate the HTML file. Okay. Let me um, do a rectangular select, select all of those, and uh, change the font on those to um, 20. There we go. And, uh, okay. This, I want to set the items on that, so I'll go to the items property. Click the three little dots. And I want red, blue, and green. I guess those are valid. And uh, this I'll have it say color. There we go. And I'll have this one say generate. Now they're going to choose the color and click generate and it'll it'll create an HTML file. Now just to go over what is an HTML file. If I bring up Notepad and I very simplest HTML looks like this. This is a web page. Very boring web page. HTML starts a web page, body starts the body of your web page, and these slashes here end the web page. So I'm going to save that, and I'll put it under the temp. And I'll change this save as type to all files. And I'll call this test, or, um, test, uh, I don't know, 54, 54.html. And click save. Now if I come over to my uh, folders here, I go to the temp folder, and um, there's test 54. Now if I right click on it and, and choose uh, open with Google Chrome, yeah, real exciting web page, doesn't, doesn't say anything, but that's my web page. Now if I come here and change the um, color, now I'm not sure of the syntax of this myself, how was that played with? I think it's BG color, but it might be color equals red. Let's save that. Oops. Come over here, refresh this. Ah, I got it right. So this is what we're trying to accomplish. Well, back to our um, program here. I'm going to double click to generate. Now this is where I'm going to write a file out. So I'm going to have Stream writer. Now, when I when I do a stream writer here, and I say I'll put file, I'm following a conventional book. You notice it does not uh, allow this. It says uh, the type or names cannot be found. Are you missing a directive or an assembly reference? Okay, up here, these usings you see here. This is where it's bringing in uh, certain code. 
uh, to be to be used. And um, I'm not sure quite what the file is, but if I do using system dot, oftentimes it's I/O. There's I/O, and then I do a semicolon there. Then down here you see it now it allows Streamwriter. Now I could have broke this down even further, did doc and choose some other items, but by doing the um, just the uh, IO there, then it brings in all the different items that need. Okay. You don't want to just bring in everything you'd ever want to use in a program. So you selectively choose to bring in code. And you see some of these aren't even being used. You know, these right here. Um, but uh, by default, they're coming into your program. Okay, so here I got out my output file. Now you can call that every, anything. That's what the book calls it. I call it OF for output file. No, how about O file? There we go. And then I'll say O file is equal to file dot. And then I'm going to say create text. And this is where you pass in the name of the file. So I'll call this um, uh, htest.html. That .html at the end tells it that it's a web page. And let me just write out the very basics on this. So I'll say o file dot write line. And then I'm going to put in uh, HTML. Why that the HTML is less than greater than around? Because that's my first line of code right here. I'm going to leave off the BG color initially. So I'll say ofile.write line. And I'll say body. And then I'll say ofile.write line. And I'll close the body. There we go. And then o file dot right line, and I'll close the web page. Now nothing exciting I'm doing there. Um, if I um, look over here, this is the exact same code I had here. Okay, so I'm done writing my file out. I'm going to close it. So o file dot close. Okay, let's run this. Comes up here, I click generate. Nothing exciting's happened. Doesn't feel like it did anything. But if I go out to my folder where this is stored at, this is called, what is this called? Example HTML Writer. So I'm going to right click my folder and open a new one. And this should be under Documents. Yeah, Documents, Visual Studio 2015, Projects. Whatever one I just created, Hello World, Example HTML Writer. I'll go into there, go into this. I uh, still don't see my HTML file yet. Um, probably under bin if I had to guess. Debug. There it is. htest.html. And if I right click on this now, I can uh, open with Google Chrome or whatever browser you want. And there's my web page. Well. Um, let's go modify it some more. Find, get back to my code. There it is. Okay, so um, I got these colors in here, so I want to bring those in. So uh, I'm going to come up here, and I got a string. I call it color, and then color, and I'm not going to put any kind of error checking in this. But color is going to equal to um, my list box. That not named list box. Shame, shame. Uh, list box. What do I call it? List box one. Never leave a list box one. LB colors. There we go. So I come over here to my code and then I'll say color, which might be reserved words, so I'm going to be careful about that. LB colors dot. Um, Selected item, and I don't know if I need parentheses there or not. Doesn't like something. 
cannot be used like a method. Okay, so then I want to pass in um, LB color dot selected index. I still might not have the, the code right on that. like that cannot be used like a method so that selected item is not what I want I guess how about uh, dot items there we go let's try that um, no extension method items uh, okay well, that's bad I'm drawing a bl complete blank here what I need to choose um, dot selected gets or sets the currently selected item. Well, isn't that what I had? Oh. Get or selected dot to string. Ah, success. Okay, so that should contain the um, selected item. So then on uh, the HTML uh, right here, I want to say BG color. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna get rid of that um, greater than. Now say O file dot right line. And then I'm gonna put in bg or space bg color equals, and then I'll do a concatenate, and I'll put in um, uh, a single quote. Now notice that's embedded in a double quote, plus the color, plus another single quote, plus the closing greater than for the um, HTML. Except for I don't want that on HTML. I want that on body. I go to bed. So this line of code, I'm going to copy down. There we go. And put after the body. Put it right here. Get rid of that greater than. Okay. Let's see if I'm even close. So I click start. Choose blue and I click generate. I'm hoping my um, we're still uh, over here. If I right click on this and say open with Google Chrome, blue, ah, that looks promising. Okay, so that's my previous web page, had nothing to do with my program. Click green, come over here, right click on this, and say open with uh, Google Chrome. You see, we got a green background. Now, if I right-click on this and choose Open with Notepad, and if you don't have Notepad there, you can choose another another program, another app, and choose it. This is what it's writing. Not the prettiest. You know, we're used to having, uh, if you've ever programmed HTML, HTML, you're used to having it next to the body, but it doesn't allow that. This is, uh, in a sense, how you can sit there and program uh, an application uh, that allow you to design a web page. Um, of course, uh, we took a total of 10 minutes. And, you know, they put a lot of effort into getting these uh, HTML writers to, to be fancy and have a lot of um, a lot of features. But that shows you one example of how to write out a file, a file that can then be used for other purposes. Now, that could be instead of uh, this simple application I showed here, it could be you're going through a database. And you're going to loop through all thousand products you have, and you're going to generate one thousand web pages uh, based upon a button click, and it all follow a certain form. So you're combining the power of programming uh, with web design. Um, now, in some cases, you might have the the your web page go directly to the database using PHP or or some kind of database like that. Um, not PHP. PHP is the language to talk to the database, like um, MySQL or, or something like that. Um, but if you wanted it uh, as a very uh, static web page, 
where there's no possibility that could hack into your database, then you could uh, nightly generate the web pages, and um, then there's no no possible chance that they're going to. Um, well, I shouldn't say no possible chance, but it, your chances at uh, being hacked into is reduced.